Hi guys, I'm Liviu and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you a device that can uh, make your life easier in the FPV. I can't remember how many times I came back from a flying session and I had a bunch of LiPoRs still fully charged and if you are not going to fly the next day or 2-3 days ahead, you really have to discharge your LiPoRs. So, if you want to try and discharge your LiPoS with your normal charger, that would take a while because normal charger have a max of 1 amp capable discharge rate, so it will take a very long time, especially if you have a big pack and so on. This is an DC electronic load capable of 0 to 150 volts, 0 to 40 amps and 400 watts. Don't forget that the wattage matters because if your wattage is uh, 400 you cannot go up to the max with voltage and amps you have to take into the consideration the ohms law so the wattage is actually the limit it's made by uh, east tester the model number is et5410 it's one channel they have also a two channel version but obviously the power is limited to around 200 watts per channel. What you can do with this is constant current, constant voltage, constant resistance and so on. Battery tester which measures the capacity and so on and you can actually discharge batteries and test their capacity. You can test power supplies to see if they actually deliver the amount of power the manufacturer says it can, so yeah. But this video is particularly important because I think this is one of the best LiPo dischargers out there because you can discharge LiPos fast and you can also put, for example, more fully charged LiPos on a parallel board and discharge all of them at the same time. But uh, first of all, let's uh, get closer to the menu and explore the battery tester menu and see what we can find there. So here, this is the main screen, the main page. And I have to go to mode. And we see here constant current, constant voltage, constant power, constant resistance and a combination of all. We can do transients. Uh, and changes in the load and so on. We have the battery and LED. I don't know exactly what LED does, but I'm going to the battery and I press enter. And here we have three stages of current and voltage. So actually this one is pretty complicated to get it at first, but it's pretty easy. Okay, so I have three levels of uh, current and three levels of voltage. I have here 25 amps from the start and I have here the first point where the current changes to 10 amps and let's put this at 15.2 okay this is just for tests this is uh, what you would choose for yourself let's put this at uh, 15 amps and at 15 volts the current would drop to 10 for example okay so this is the setup let's press exit from this menu so we can see here the same thing on the screen okay guys so everything is set up i have here my lipo which is an ovonic 4s 100c they say and i will just plug the battery here so, I have now 16.88 volts on the input of the DC electronic load and I will press on. And as you can see, I have 25 amps current draw right now. And I am exactly at almost the limit of the DC load. I have 388 watts and the battery voltage is getting down 15.37 and it's going down at 15.2 we should go to 10 15 not 10 so 15 amps obviously the voltage went up a bit because the current is lower we already drown 
350 milliamperes from uh, the battery. The battery is barely heating up. It's very warm to the touch. Imagine doing this on a normal charger and your brain will explode because it will it will take a while to discharge a pack. So imagine placing six batteries on parallel boards and place it on this discharger and in one hour or less you could actually discharge six packs. That would be awesome, especially for racers who come home and they have a lot of batteries and if you know a thing of two about lipos the batteries are getting killed if you keep them charged for a very long time uh, over a week already is a long time and they will puff and they will um, degrade the capacity and the, the power delivery and that sucks so we already went from uh, 15 amps to 10 amps and we are at 14.9 volts but you could actually set 25 amps on all the levels and just break the the loading at 14.8 volts or something like that i just kept it like this because well i feel it's a bit safer the battery is kind of warm now not even close to what it is uh, after a flight and when it reached 14.7 volts it stopped so now the battery is kind of discharged to a storage level but i could have gone to 14.5 and after that it will rest at around 14.8 so this is the East Tester ET5410. It's a pretty cool device capable of drawing as you've seen a lot of amps. I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section. If you want me to tear down this device please um, leave your opinion in the comment section also. And you will have all the necessary links into the description. Thank you again very much for your support and till the next time. Bye guys.